Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, so we are back in the uh, bait shop here and uh, we're going to be making uh, one of the most popular colors of all time. I've probably made something like this somewhere along the videos, but I don't think I've done a full video on it. Um, at least uh, I don't think so. You know, we're going to be doing your basic black and blue laminate. There are many different types of black and blue colors. You have black with blue flake. Um, you have your black over blue laminate. You have a black and blue swirl, um, which I think is kind of known more like uh, as like a hematoma color or something. Um, I don't really know. But uh, today we're gonna be doing a black and blue laminate. And um, yeah, it works just about in anything. So we're gonna be making a creature bait, of course, because it's like the number one flipping color of all time. We're going to be doing a ribbon tail worm and then a jerk bait. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here in just a minute. Okay, everybody. So um, here's a little bit closer look at our spread. Lure works black. I'm going to use the dead on plastic blue. I'm, I'm still running on this sample here. Uh, I love the way that blue looks. Um, it's a little bit lighter shade blue uh, than my lure works blue. And um, I think that will have a really good contrast. And then we're going to put some small blue flake, that's .008, and then some medium. Uh, so black over blue, and uh, I think it'll look pretty good in the uh, in the grass grenade, creature bait, and uh, as well as just a regular ribbon tail worm, and then uh, a soft plastic uh, jerk bait as well. So um, I have two cups of my dead-on plastic here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and fire these up. So real quick, uh, while the microwave's going, I wanted to show you guys uh, something cool. These have been floating in this water for over 24 hours. Um, I'm just leaving them there to see how long they'll, they'll float, I guess forever, I don't know. Uh, they do get waterlogged. This is the new dead-on plastic uh, floating blend. So they have recently released a uh, all-floating um, <coughs> uh, product, and uh, I think they've released it in the finesse, the worm, and the uh, swim bait. I think anything firmer than that, there's actually, um, you know, more resin uh, as as you get firmer, which then weighs it. So it's harder to get a floating plastic uh, that's firm. But um, this is the uh, swim bait blend, actually. And um, yeah, they've been floating for a while. So uh, you this so for example, this swim bait right here is made with the. Uh, regular dead on the black bucket stuff and you can see when you put it in the water down it goes um, but the new stuff floats pretty well and uh, I'm just letting those sit for a while and see what happens to them okay it's time to build some color it's time to build some color so black side you guessed it just gonna add some black and look how clear that plastic is man I love it. I almost hate to mess it up with color, you know? This stuff comes out so clear and just so bubbleless. I almost hate to screw it up. All right. Let's see. It's actually a little white. We'll add a little bit more black. Thicken it up a smidge more. I want some good contrast between the two. Okay. It's looking a little better. Now for the blue side. Dead on blue. Perfect. I really, really, really like this stuff. And uh, and you can put a lot of it in there and it remains relatively see-through. It's not as thick, but uh, but I really like the shade of blue. It's, it's different than my Lure Works blue. And uh, I really like what I get out of this. And I don't make a whole lot of blue. So whenever I get the chance to I always uh, always really enjoy it okay so now we're gonna add a little bit of blue flake just some of the fine stuff this is the point zero zero eight and you can just 
you don't really need glitter in these. You can just laminate the black and blue. Done, you know, easy as that. But I like to add a little sparkle. So here's some medium hexagon flake. Okay. We'll stir that in. Yeah. So there's what we have. And now we're ready to shoot. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna do a black top, blue bottom. And uh, it really doesn't matter on two of my baits. However, the, uh, the jerk bait has a top side and a bottom side. These other ones are symmetrical. Okay, so there's the grass grenade. Okay. Here is the seven inch ribbon tail worm. All right. Feels like a pretty good shoot. And here we go. Left side, top side on this mold. So the black on top, the blue on bottom. Okay. Felt like a pretty good shoot. Top some stuff off. Okay. And there we go. Fingers crossed that it came out. Okay, drum roll please. Maybe a little uh, back sticking too. Alright, that's enough drums. Okay, let's see if the uh, grass grenades came out looking good. And they did. Look at that, folks. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Let's get them out. You see a good laminate on the sprue or on the runner there. Okay, so there's the black side, the blue side. Yeah, look at that. That's a really good distinct laminate. Really good distinction on both colors. Yes, sir. And I like how in the tail, it almost looks like your regular black with blue flake. Because you have the blue flake from the blue side kind of mixing in with the black. I think it's a winner. Gotta drink a beer, right guys? Wouldn't be world's worst fishing without it. Okay, next up are the jerk baits. And uh, those came out just about perfect. If I do dare say so. Look at that, guys. Ooh, pretty. Let's get the other two. <clears throat> Black with blue laminates. Ain't it great? Ain't it great? And now for the worm. So it looks like a black worm, but ooh. Then maybe it's not. A little bit of flashing. I only had two clamps on it, so that's uh, kind of to be expected. Look at that. Yes, sir. I, uh, going out to my parents later today, I might try to throw this in the water and see if I can get a fish catch on film to add to the end of this video. Um, depends on if I get out there early enough, though, but that's it. There it is, guys. What do y'all think? Regular, well, not necessarily regular, but your normal black with blue laminates it's the oldest trick in the book. It's one of the best largemouth bass colors of all time, especially here in Florida. And um, yeah, that's how easy it is. And I'm sure you can tweak it to your liking. You can go with maybe like a lighter blue. You can go with different size flake or no flake, or maybe you add a little flake to the black side. But black and blue, uh, you really can't go wrong uh, when you're talking about bass fishing. Okay, and today's bonus bait, froggies. Let's see what we get. Yeah, black top, blue bottom, frogs. The blue doesn't show up, uh, doesn't seem to be showing up as well. You know what, let me just break them off here. There we go. Yeah. Killer, I like it. Yeah. 
I really like the tails. It's always uh, so cool to see how tails mix on laminates. But um, yeah, anyway, kind of interesting. That one got more of the blue on the side. I shot these really hot, um, just kind of off camera. And uh, when you're shooting hot plastic, you don't always get as even as a laminate as shooting lower temperatures. Um, so I'm kind of not surprised that they're a little more swirly than straight laminates. Um, but that's just a general rule of thumb, even temperature and then lower temperature. So if you have low even temperatures, normally you get a better laminate. Uh, if you want to learn a lot more about laminates, I have a whole video on uh, the guide to, to getting a good laminate. Uh, so just uh, search my videos and check that one out. Uh, we go in some pretty good detail on laminates in that video. Yeah, there it is. The black and blue laminates. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I'm going to film the outro now in case I don't get a chance to go film throwing this worm. I'm going to try, so if I am able to do that, I'll, uh, I'll include it at the end of this video. So, um, yeah, if it looks like there's a couple more video, uh, minutes of video, um, stay tuned. That means I got something. If not, uh, I tried. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to, uh, trying to figure out a way to take some more of these baits fishing in the same video that I make them. I just, I don't get a lot of time to fish, guys. Um, just having a seven-month-old, Landon takes up a lot of my time. And, um, you know, I'm trying to come out here and run orders and make new videos. Um, so, it's a delicate balancing act. But, uh, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today. That's going to wrap this video up. Black with blue, give it a try. Shoot me a comment down below. Let me know how you did. Chris, those are great. Chris, those suck. Um, I'm uh, curious to know what you think. So without further ado, we're going to sign off, and we'll see you next time on the World's Worst Fishing. All right. We're going to take the black and blue laminate worm and see if we can catch one. All right, we're gonna try spot number two. This is the Golden Eagle Country Club uh, Clubhouse. And uh, there's a spot down here where you can fish um, some uh, cinder blocks that they had put out a long time ago. And uh, you might recognize this lake. We did a video on it a few videos back uh, where I caught like a seven pounder right off the bat. So pretty interesting. All right, we got our bait down there in these um, cinder blocks. It's I've already lost one rig, so you lose a lot of rigs on these blocks, but uh, there's usually some fish hanging on them. Ooh. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Maybe we can get another bite here. There's a couple boats out and it got cold last night, so they may just not be all that active, but that was one bite. Well, hung again. How's it going, man? Catch any? Uh, no, not today. Yeah, normally you can catch them right off these blocks out here, but yeah. all I do is get hung up. Well guys, I may be out of luck. Uh, when I when I got down here, so this is my second spot, and uh, when I got down here, there was a, uh, a younger gentleman um, who had been here a little while, just talked to him, and he said they are not biting, and he's been fishing those blocks, uh, cinder blocks down there for about the last hour or so, and uh, so <clears throat> I may be uh, fishing on a prayer here, but, uh, Regardless, I have to get going because my family's doing an Easter party. So, that may be how we have to wind this video up. But, uh, sorry I couldn't get one. But thank you so much for watching and we will definitely get one next time.